she will weary me. Verse 6. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect? I need you to prophesy to your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is your season of vengeance. Okay. I will not. Hallelujah. I will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And he said unto her, God will avenge his own elect, which cry, watch this, day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. Verse 8, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Y'all ain't reading this Bible with me. He will avenge them speedily. Look at another neighbor say, it's happening speedily. Tell him it's happening speedily. Okay, that's the wrong neighbor. Look at the neighbor across from me. Say, neighbor, it won't be long from now. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man, nevertheless, when the Son of Man shall come, shall he find faith on the earth. Now I know I'm going to confuse some of you all by going back to the Amplified Bible. I like the Bible, but the name of our text is in the Amplified Bible, and I just might preach like a Sunday morning this morning. Uh, I need you. I need you to do me a favor and and, and look at the, the 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 eighth verse. I believe it is the eighth verse. Um, no, 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 no. It's not the eighth verse. Just wait on me. For a time he will not, but later he said to himself, verse four: Even though I do not fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow continues to bother me, I will give her justice and legal protection. Otherwise, by continuing, by continually coming me, will be an intolerable annoyance. And watch this, she will wear me out. I want to talk, <laughs> this ain't Sunday for it. I want to talk from a subject for the next couple of minutes. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, don't play with this. Say, neighbor, wear it out. <laughs> That was the wrong neighbor. Say, neighbor, when it comes to what you're believing God for, don't stop believing. Wear it out. I said, don't let it go. I said, don't let it go. I know you're getting tired. I know it looks like it won't happen for you. I know the enemy is telling you that you're praying for nothing. But look at a neighbor, say, neighbor, wear it out, 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 wear it out. Wear, hey, wear it out. Hey, huh? wear it out. Hey. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. In this season, you have to be like Jacob. When Jacob was in the presence of the Lord, he said, I will not let you go until you bless my soul. I'm not letting this season go until I get out of this season what I've been believing God for. We are in a series entitled what? Teach us how to pray. Somebody say teach us how to pray. The Bible begins to talk to us in Luke 18 and Jesus begins to tell us. Uh, in Luke, the 18th chapter, in the first verse, that men ought to always, somebody say, pray. Somebody say, pray. Now, I know that prayer is, an, is almost an in extinct uh, order of, of, of attitude in the body of Christ, but prayer should always be in order. Prayer should always be in order. So it says that men ought to always pray. If you're taking notes tonight, let's go. Uh, this is what I first want to tell you about prayer. Prayer must be done, somebody say, with persistence. Prayer must be done with persistence. You must be persistent in prayer. Are you hearing me? You must be persistent in prayer. What is persistence? Persistence means to continually, firmly, or abstinently uh, come in a course of action in spite of the difficulty or the opposition. So no matter what it looks like, I must be tenacious. I have to continue. I have to be determined and I have to be resolute praying until I see in the earth what I'm believing God for. 
I have to continue to go after what it is that God has told me that I'm going to have. I have to continue to go after. If he told me my family would be changed, I cannot stop believing God. If he told me that I was going to see a miracle, I cannot stop believing God. I have to continue to pray because when it comes to prayer, Satan is hell-bent on breaking your streak of persistence. He is hell-bent to stop you from bringing. He does not want you to pray. That's simply it. He doesn't want you to pray, watch this, because prayer limits him. Prayer limits the enemy. The enemy understands that there's only so much that carnality can do to you. There's only so much that your flesh can get done to you. There's only so much that can happen to you when you are praying because prayer, somebody says, it limits the en enemy. So I want you to understand this, that Satan is hell-bent on breaking your streak of persistence. He does not want you to be tenacious. He does not want you to be determined. He does not want you to be resolute. He wants you to give up at the first sign of something not happening the way that you thought it would happen. I wish I had a church that understood this tonight, that the enemy wants you to get emotional when things don't work out your way. Because when you begin to get emotional, when things don't work out your way, you will stop believing God for what it is that he said. Watch this. Continue a, a, a consistency in prayer. Watch this. It builds continuity with God. I need you to write that down. Consistency in prayer, it builds continuity with God. Continuity is the unbroken and consistent existence or operation of something over a period of time. So when I continue to pray, when I set a time in the morning to seek the Lord, when I set a time in the morning to seek God, when I set a time in the morning, when I begin a regiment of prayer, what that does is it shows the spirit round. It shows God, it shows heaven that there is so Somebody in the earth that is willing to be consistent concerning the things of prayer. This is why Satan wants you to wake up in the morning and the first thing he wants you to do is grab your phone. It's, it's amazing that you go to the kitchen and get your coffee first. You, you, you talk to the first person on the phone, but you don't pray because Satan does not want you to build a consistent foundation of prayer because he understands that if you stay consistent in prayer, God can trust you with bigger and weightier things. God can't trust you with cities. He can't trust you with towns. He can't trust you to bind demons. He can't trust you to lose communities if you don't have a consistent regimen of prayer because you cannot go to war for a person that you do not communicate with. And so if he allow, if you're allowed of the enemy get you in a mode of thinking or in a mode of operation where you do not pray, he limits you in the things of God. But the reason why we're, li we're, we're praying, the reason why we are preaching these messages, the reason why we are going through these teachings and so that we build a regiment in the spirit realm where we cannot be stopped. I don't care if I've got a headache. I don't care if I've got a toe ache. I don't care if I'm not seeing what it is that they told me I would see. I don't care what things are looking like. I've still got to pray. I don't care if they're telling me that the thing that I've been desiring, the loan won't be approved. The healing won't come to the body. I don't care what they're saying. I'm still going to find myself in prayer. When I begin to pray, when I begin to supplicate, Okay. The Bible says, the Bible says that the earnest, uh, uh, the expectation of prayer, it talks about how prayer, that when men pray, that they're going to see exactly what it is that they said they're going to pray. When men begin to call on the name of the Lord, they're going to see exactly what it is that they said that they're going to call the name of the Lord for. So I'm not praying because I'm waiting to see something different. I'm praying because I'm waiting to see exactly what I prayed for. The Bible says, the Bible says, the earnest, the earnest prayer of the righteous, it availeth must the, the fervent prayer of the righteous it availeth much the prayers of the righteous they availeth much what does that mean when the fervent prayers of the righteous are done they have to work I need you to understand that your prayer does not have a chance not to work it has to work somebody look at your neighbor say my prayer has to work I'm not just praying to be heard I'm not just praying to be seen I'm not just praying to prove to my enemies or to people who don't believe that I know God that I know God I'm praying because when I pray I know the old folks said this that God answers prayer I need 
need a few people in the building that believe tonight that you're not going home into another stale prayer life. You're not going home just praying how you used to pray. You're not going home and just saying our Father who art in heaven. But this time when you go home, you're going home decreeing and declaring. And what you decree and what you declare, you're going to see it. I need you to pass it around the room. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. Y'all, y'all, y'all looking funny. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see exact. No, 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 no. I'm not letting this go. I'm not letting this go. I'm not letting this go. Tired, but I'm not letting it go. Hungry, but I'm not letting it go. Thinking it's not going to happen, but I'm not going to let it go. This thing ain't breathed in weeks, but I'm not going to let it go. I'm not letting it go until I see what God has said. I need you to lean on a neighbor and say, I ain't letting it go. I'm not letting it go until I see what God has said. Let's deal with this. So the Bible tells us that we ought to continually to continue to pray and not, somebody say, don't faint. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, whatever you do, don't faint. Don't faint. Don't faint. Let's deal with this. Prayerlessness causes fainting. Write that down. Prayerlessness causes fainting. I need to say that one more time. Prayerlessness causes fainting. Can we go deeper tonight? Fainting in this text is the Greek word ekakeo or ekakeo, meaning to be weak or by implication to fail in heart. It means to be faint and to be weary. The word fainting suggests, watch this, that prayerlessness causes you to lose hope and as a result it weighs on your emotions. So in, in, in context, what Jesus is saying is that men ought to always pray, watch this, and not become emotional. And the reason why you can't become emotional, people of God, is because when you're praying, the first thing that is going to first try to prophesy something negative to what you're praying and what you're believing God for is your emotions. You got to come out that emotional roller coaster, baby. You got to come out of that place where you pray and worry at the same time. I don't, I, I, I don't have a church tonight. You, you've got to come out of that place where you believe God halfway, but you don't believe God the whole way. Tell somebody, I've got to believe the whole thing. I've got to believe, and I cannot take my, y'all ain't, y'all ain't here tonight. I cannot take my faith out of God because Satan is going to continue to come after what I'm believing God for. Watch this, so that I would never pray again prayerlessness causes fainting fainting and prayer uh, prayerlessness or fainting in the text means to lose hope it means to get into your emotions it means it, it means to turn around watch this cons- consistent prayer watch this restabilizes hope while in turn it separates an emotional response to life's problems from a spiritual one from a natural one watch this to a spiritual one let me say that again consistent prayer it restabilizes hope number one while in turn it separates an emotional response to life's problems to a spiritual one let me say that again because you guys are not getting it you guys are not understanding what I'm saying consistent prayer watch this it restabilizes hope while in turn it separates your emotions from the spirit let me say that one more time so that can get in your that can get in your spirit consistent prayer it restabilizes the hope that the enemy has destroyed when you did not see what it is that you wanted to see and it begins to separate you from a natural response to a spiritual response look at your neighbor and say neighbor in this season come on neighbor you cannot afford come on to be emotional come on. I, I need you to look at another neighbor I know they not I, I know listen listen I understand I understand that you feeling what you're feeling I know that the natural world is speaking to you one thing but I need you to look at a neighbor and be correct say neighbor in this season of your life you cannot afford I know you're I know there's things going on I know that you're feeling some things in your spirit I know the devil's voice is sounding like he's telling the truth it really sounds uh, see, th- th- see listen this is this is how I know y'all ain't being real with me because sometimes they tell you the devil is a lie but there are some times where that joke could be speaking to you and it sounds like everything he's saying to you is true but even though it sounds like the truth the devil may have the facts but he ain't got the truth I need you to look at a neighbor tonight and say neighbor neighbor listen to me you cannot 
become emotional in this. Y'all, I, I, I ain't scared of y'all or not. You cannot become emotional because when you are emotional, you rule from your emotions. You decide from your emotions. You plan from your emotions. You continue in your emotions. I need you to look at the person. Say, neighbor, you cannot be. I'm want y'all. Y'all looking at me like I'm. I'm, I'm just. I'm just up here selling popcorn. I need you to say, neighbor, you cannot become emotional. When you become emotional, you take your response from out of the spirit into the flesh. This is why the Bible tells us to walk in the spirit so that we will not fulfill the lust or the desires of the flesh. And when the flesh sees obstacles, it is the nat- this is the flesh's natural response to begin to give up. I know I'm working in here. It is the flesh's natural response to say, oh no, this is not going to happen. It is the flesh's natural response when you did not see, oh I'm about to hurt somebody's feelings tonight. When you did not see what you wanted God to do, it is the flesh's natural response to tell you stop praying. It's the flesh's natural response to say you rather you, you should go see a psychic. You should go see you should go to Islam and see something else. You, you you tried this God thing and it's not working for you. It is the flesh's natural response to get you in the place where you don't believe God, but consistent prayer. Somebody say can keep on praying. Say it with authority. Y'all sound like kindergartners. Come on. Say, keep on praying. Say, say keep on praying. And consistent prayer. Watch this. It restabilizes hope while in turn it separates an emotional response to life's problems from a spiritual one. How do I know that I'm, I'm being emotional? When you hear a no and you're immediately affected. Oh, oh, oh. When they tell you that it won't happen and you immediately say, well, maybe it wasn't God in the first place. Oh, when, when they tell you you only got two more weeks to live in this place and now you got to move and, and you don't even have money for a down payment for a new place. You, ooh, I'm, where, 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 where my people at? Where, when, when they tell you, uh, when they tell you that all possible things that we can do for your credit is done and you can't get the car. And you say, well, maybe it's not. No, 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 no. I don't care what the natural man is saying. I'm not letting go. I'm not not letting go and see this is why a lot of us can't agree with what's being said because we're living our relationship with God out through a place where we feel as though he hurt us and so we stop trusting him no 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 I need you to get your trust back I need you to get your trust back because the Lord told me that the whole month of August is going to be a month where he begins to avenge his people and I said Lord what do you mean he says tell my people in August that I'm getting ready to recorrect some things in their lives I'm getting ready to t- y'all don't believe this I'm getting ready to turn the story story and I'm getting ready to turn the page. I need you to look at a neighbor say neighbor listen to me neighbor listen to me y'all ain't looking at y'all neighbor y'all got their phone number asking for their number say neighbor listen to me Linda listen to me hear me Linda hear me tonight hear me tonight this is not the scene in the movie tell them this is not the scene in the movie come on where you die (laughs) no 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 this is not the scene in the movie this is not the part of the story where you die no this ain't that part of the story This is not the part of the story where you choke. I I need a church tonight. This is the part of the story where I begin to see God do exceedingly. I need a church. I I need God to do abundantly above all that he can ask for. This is the season where I begin to see exactly what was proper. I need you. We prophesying all through August. So we we may as well start now. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, you're in transition. I feel revival. You're in transition. Say, neighbor, you're in transition. Uh, say, neighbor, where are you going? Say, neighbor, where are you going, neighbor? Where are you going? Say, neighbor, I'm going from prophesying uh, to testimony. Look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, oh, I-, I need a church. Come on, y'all. I need a church to understand that I'm transitioning. I'm no longer in the middle of limbo. I'm no longer deciding what's going to happen. I'm in between the place uh, where it was prophesied. And now I'm coming to the place uh, of manifestation. If you begin to see what God said to you, manifest in the morning. Show me what you're going to do. Show me. Show me. Come on. That's a lame excuse. Y'all too quiet. But if I get a 
a letter in the mail in the morning that say, Mr. Ward, your mortgage has been paid off. Uh, 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 Mr. Ward, we, we have to give you all that you put down on the car because we found out that the car wasn't working right. So we got to pay you back. Uh, I need somebody to worship him for back pay. Hey! I'm in good time. I'm because mean, prayerlessness is to make you faint. Watch this. I want you to understand this that the word faint here also speaks, watch this, to weariness. Somebody say, don't be weary. Come on, church, say, don't be weary. We're a talk back church. Say, don't be weary. Watch this. To be weary means feeling or showing tiredness, especially as a result of excessive or lack of rest. Can I ask you a question? When is the last time you slept at night? Oh. Okay, y'all ain't gonna be real in this church, but you've been up watching Kearney Thomas all night. You've been up watching BET videos after dark, and God is trying to send you to see when is the last time you <laughs> when is the last time you got some real sleep? When is the last time you slept without one worry? Oh, uh, mm, mm. Okay, y'all gonna sit here and act like y'all ain't been up <laughs> trying to figure out your next move and you ain't put it in God's hands. Because what restlessness does and what prayerlessness does is it makes you weary. But the Bible tells us, watch this, the Bible tells us in Galatians, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse, it says, let us not become, watch this, let's read it, we're Christians, weary where? In well-doing. Because what? watch this, in due season. Yeah. Woo! I, I, Tina, I feel God in due season. Can I, can, I un, can I help you to understand something? A lot of the church is in a place where they can't accept prophecy because it does not fit in their traditional construct. They can't accept believing the word of God because it does not sound like what they're used to hearing. And you're waiting for me to prove to you that I hear from God. Here's how I know I hear from God. Here's how I know what God is saying. There's about two people in here. There's one over there and the she ain't another one here. That when they got to their car last night, before they left the sanctuary, before they left the grounds, they had surprise money in their account. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I, I, while it's in my line to the people, when, but before they got home, exactly what we decreed in the atmosphere they saw. This is why you can't play in atmospheres like this like we just playing hopscotch and bubblegum to, to, but no 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 you got to believe that in atmospheres like this that when the man of God speaks something over my life he's been with God and God has been with him oh and God has talked to him concerning me and so when he begins to agree, decree a thing I'm going to snatch that thing in the atmosphere I need a church just to snatch it out come on Rock. snatch the thing that you've been believing God. Why? what did you just snatch I just snatched my rest I just snatched my blessing. I just snatched my peace. I just snatched my identity. I just come on, go about snatching stuff. You shall reap a harvest. Watch what this, the Bible says something amazing. If you, here's the word again, faint not. Somebody say, don't faint, don't faint. Say, you, say you cannot faint. Come on, declarations over our day. Say, you cannot faint. Come on. Say, you cannot faint. You, it, it, this is the rule tonight. You can do anything but faint. No. You can cry, but don't faint. Woo. You can be angry. But don't faint. I know the religious people ain't going to like this. You may slip up and cuss. But you, uh, 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 don't faint, don't faint, don't faint. I know y'all mad at me. You don't act like y'all ain't cussing at home. You ain't doing crazy stuff behind closed doors. God's going to forgive you. He's going to deliver you. He's going to heal you. But look at your name. Say, neighbor, don't you faint. We don't cuss. Praise God. We love, we love Jesus. And the Bible says, let us not become weary in well-doing. Watch this. Prayer is well-doing. Prayer is well-doing. Prayer is a consistent conversation with God. Prayer is celestial power. Mm. It is power with heaven. That ain't even in my notes. Holy Ghost is speaking. It's power. I feel God all in this place. Y'all look at me like y'all crazy. I, I sense that in the next 24 hours, what you did not have last night, what you've been waiting on, is getting ready to show up at your door. My God. Y'all know this don't feel like a normal Thursday. We don't normally go to church like this. But I need you to look at a neighbor and tell your neighbor, 
that I'm in the middle of a greatest season of my life. I'm in the middle of God doing something that I've never seen him do. I'm in the middle of getting ready to see God make something manifest in my life that my father forgot about, that my grandmother forgot about. My mama didn't see it. My daddy didn't see it. But I'm believing God by this time, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, all right. I can't get distracted. This is good because we got a we got a ways to go. We got we we have a ways to go. Okay. And so it says, "Do not faint." Right? Watch this. Fainting in this part of the word is not the word ekekeo. It is the word eklo. And, and and this 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 word this word means to relax. Mm. It means to relax. Um, and, and whenever you relax, it means that you have given up. Mm. So, so the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says that, that you ought to pray and not faint. These two words are connected in the Greek lexicon. In fact, these two words point back to each other in the Greek lexicon. If you study these two words in Greek, they are of the same words. They are the same word. The same word is the, it, 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 that ekekeo is, is eklo. They're the same word, but they just give different meanings. And so, because they're the same word and they give different meanings, what you can do is that you can put this word in the same text. So what Jesus is saying in Luke chapter 18 is he's saying that men, watch this, ought to always pray, watch this, and don't relax. Okay, I'm about to put these retractables in my car. I'm about to go home because y'all looking at me. We watching Family Matters or something. Uh, uh, it's... it's here is, he says, men ought to always pray, Ty, and don't relax. Here, here, here's the issue with a lot of us. We're, we're, we're too lazy in the things of God. Oh, I'm about to get you tonight. I'm about to get you tonight. I'm about to get you tonight. We're too lazy. Watch this. We rush to the beauty supply. We rush to get our food. Don't you tell us we can't have what we want. But when it's time to pray, ooh. We're like an inflated balloon. We have no meaning. We have no purpose. When it's time for us to lift up prayers, we don't even know what to pray. Some of us are still praying, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallow we, we, we don't even have a prayer life. Watch this because we have relaxed. And it's amazing that we pray in a rush when we're in trouble, but we don't pray when it's time for intimacy. Oh, God. Ooh, it's, it's quiet in here. I'm getting you tonight. I'm get, why? Because I need you to grow up in your most holy faith. Because the devil does not care how much you shout, church, dance, how many times you twirl. He doesn't even care about you speaking in tongues. But if you don't, if you, if you stop praying, if you stop lifting up your voice to God, that is how he know he has you. And so what he's saying is, you, 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 you have to pray. You cannot relax. So we can conclude that when Jesus is admonishing us to pray, he is telling us that the dangerous place to be in when it is concerning prayer is our comfort zone. You, you, you're too, the, the, the old church would say, you're too lax in Zion. You, you're too comfortable. Mm, mm. And, and I know you have not seen what they said that you were supposed to have. But tell your neighbor, say, not long from now. Not, not, not long, not, not, not long from now. Not long from now. L let's, let's go deeper because we ain't even in the text. We ain't even where I want to be. Uh, uh, and watch this. Let me, let me help you. Let me give you this. Let me give you this. You ready? You ready? Lean forward. Satan wants you to make prayer. This was powerful when God spoke this to me. A last resort. Watch this. So when things go left in life, the first thing that you will blame is the last mode of operation you went through to see your manifested result. Did y'all hear what I just said? I'm, I'm going to read that again. What you say, man of God? Let me tell you. I'm, I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to tell you again, Kiki. I'm going to tell, tell you again. I'm going to tell you again, little ghetto girl. I'm going to tell you again. I'm gonna Who he talking to? I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to tell you again. Watch this. Satan wants you to make prayer, watch this, a last resort. Ask me why. Say why. why? He wants you to make a last resort. Watch this. So when the things in your life go left, the first thing that you will blame on it going left was the last mode of operation you went through to see your manifested result. What am I telling you? Satan wants you to pray late so that when you don't get what it is that you prayed late for, you blame the thing that you did last because that's what didn't work. 
Y'all ain't getting it. Y'all, y'all, y'all missing it. Y'all, y'all missing it. I hope, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. What I'm telling you is Satan wants you to pray last because if you pray last, you, 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 will, you will go to your prayer life and you will blame your prayer life because that's the last thing you did. Mm, that's why you got to pray first. You got to pray first so that when that thing doesn't happen and that thing is taking too long, you can keep praying. But if you pray last and you don't see it, what Satan will say, is, see, you pray too late. Oh, you, you pray, you, you pray too late. Uh, and so what he wants you to do is he wants you to pray last so you can blame prayer first. Okay, y'all, y'all look at it. Oh, we're gonna have to get tapes and CDs. So, 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 so let's go into the text. Y'all ready? We, we got, we got, I got 10 minutes to give you this. You ready? In, in the Bible here in Luke 18, I love this text of scripture. In the Bible in Luke 18, the Bible begins to talk about an unjust judge. Somebody say an unjust judge. Now this is a parable. And so what this is, is this is allegorical. Somebody say allegorical. Say allegorical. Allegoric means that Jesus is using a story to make a point. He's using this story to make a point to the people. I'm not going to come down this week. I'm, I'm going to try to stay on TBN right up on here. Uh, he, he's, he's, using, he's, he's using a point, and so he tells this story. This is not something that actually happened, but he uses this story as a point of reference to let you understand why prayer is more powerful and it is more important. And so in Luke 18, we meet an unjust judge. Somebody say an unjust judge. And the thing, the reason why this unjust judge is the central focus of this text is because he is the obstacle, watch this, in front of the answer. He, he is the obstacle. Now, now listen, you don't have an unjust judge. You may have a credit problem. But the obstacle in front of your answer is the thing that is holding you back from seeing what God told you you would have. I need you in this next moment to get in your mind the obstacle in front of you. Let's talk. Y'all ready to talk? Y'all ready to talk? And so here it is. The, the unjust judge is the obstacle in the middle or in front of the answer. Watch this. Within every approach to ac accomplishing anything through prayer, this is what Satan will do. This is good word. This is good word tonight. Satan will always ensure there to be an obstacle in the place that will stand as a direct opposition as to why what you're praying for cannot happen. I'm going to say that again because y'all real Sesame Street tonight. Within every approach to accompanying anything through prayer. Somebody say through prayer. Somebody say through prayer. Not through sage. Oh, y'all mad? Ooh, not through crystals. Oh, the church is, is mad tonight. N not, not through Miss Cleo. Call me now for you. Y'all love the Facebook prophets. Y'all be clicking that thing before it can tell you how many kids you're going to have and how much money you're going to have and what your life going to look like this year, next year. Y'all love the Facebook prophets because you can control that outcome. Oh, oh, mm, mm. oh, and oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going we to go there tonight. And, and that's why a lot of us don't pray because we don't control the, because what do you do when you don't see what you pray for? Will you still believe God? That's a, that's a whole, I'm, okay, that's a whole other different, okay, so, so <laughs> and, and, and so this is what happens, I'm not going to mess with y'all tonight, uh, uh, this is what happens, uh, 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 two things concerning this judge, two things, y'all ready for the first thing, watch this, he was an obstacle in the text, and he feared not God. Here is a widow woman who needs to be avenged. She's a widow woman that needs to be avenged uh, because of her adversaries. Now, you must understand Jewish law. If Jesus is telling this parable, he's coming from a Jewish perspective. You must understand Jewish law. Jewish law is this, and you find this in the book of Isaiah, that you have to take care. You must take care. It was, it was the job of the town to take care of widows. They, must, uh, God, they had to make sure that the widows had what they were needed because they had no man to represent represent them. If you were a woman back then and you had no man to represent you, you could not talk on your own could not fend for yourself so here it is she is a woman and she goes to a judge watch this who does not fear God what does this mean he's not obeying the laws of heaven he's not obeying the laws of God it's not in your favor this is a carnal man y'all gonna miss this message tonight this is a carnal situation and for many of you your obstacle is not spiritual for many of you it's a boss at your job that listens to rock and roll all day for many of you it's a, a crazy baby daddy it's a mad baby mama it's something crazy 
crazy in the midst of you that is stopping you from getting your peace. It's not an unjust judge. It's not an unjust judge. It's a sickness in your body. And the Bible says that this unjust judge, he did not fear God. He had no respect for the things of God. He had no respect for heaven. He had no respect for God as man. He had no respect for God as king. Watch this. When obstacles are at resistance, when obstacles and resistance show up while you're seeking God, hear me. I love it. Always remember, you ready? You ready? To pay attention to the force behind the scenes. Y'all didn't get what I just said. <laughs> Pay attention to the force behind the scenes. It's not a man. Y'all gonna miss it. It's not a man. Woo! It's not your baby mama. No, devil, it ain't no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It ain't that crazy co-worker. Ephesians tells us, for we wrestle. Not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness, where? In high places. Against darkness, against witches, warlocks, devils. So when we're looking at this unjust judge, we can't see the man that's in front of the obstacle. You've got to have discernment because it's not anything carnal that's messing you up. And this is the problem with today's church. Today's church has missed the moment of being spiritual. I tried to be sexy for Jesus, but I can't take this thing no more. They're trying to be, we, we, we've lost being spiritual. We're not spiritual. I'm trying not to come down, but I feel God in this holy place. We've, we've lost spirituality. We will argue with our mama. We'll argue with our daddy. We'll blame it on people we don't like. And we'll let the devil chill in our house and act like it ain't him that's behind the scenes that got your co-worker acting up. Like it ain't him that's trying to attack you because you finally decided to give your life to Christ. You finally decided to stop twerking. You finally decided. Oh, Y'all still twerking. You finally decided to stop working for the enemy. As soon as you decided to give your life to Christ, all hell then broke loose. Everything in your life then went crazy. Kids acting up. Folks cussing you out. People asking you for money who owe you money. Just crazy stuff. Look at your neighbor and say, don't play with me. It's a demon. Look at him. Yeah, I said it. It's a devil. It's shit. Oh, Y'all don't like this type of preaching. You don't like this type of. It's a devil that's holding on to your house. It's a devil that's holding on to your new car. Y'all want to play like an act like. Is it now? It's just something now. It's, it's just serendipity. It's just the universe. No, it's a wicked demon that won't let go of your stuff. We stop blaming the devil and we allow him to stay in church and shout with us. But oh, that spirit is still trying to aggravate your life. And so the Bible says, I feel, oh, I feel God in this place. The Bible says, the Bible says, Anthony, that there was an unjust judge and he did not fear God. He was not saved. Let me read this to you again because it's almost time to go. When the obstacle and resistance shows up, you got to understand that while you're seeking God, it is not anything carnal, Janice. It is not anything carnal. It's not the person in front of you. It's not the landlord that's trying to kick you out before January 30th. It's not the thing that you're looking at. It's a devil trying to frustrate. What is trying to frustrate you? What is, that ex ain't trying to frustrate you. That thing that you, it's the devil. It's him. Yeah, it's, it's him. Look at somebody say, it's the devil. It's it. He's still real. But we, the reason why we don't want to mess with him, because we don't want to cast him out no more. The reason, y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all looking at me like y'all ain't got no power. The reason why we don't want to confront the enemy is because we're too busy playing in his playground. The reason why we don't want to talk to the devil because we twerk with him on Saturday and we want
going to worship on Sunday. But when you begin to confront the devil, you let that devil, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. You've got to become like God. I'm just going to have to preach it tonight. You're going to have to become like Jesus. In one verse, what happens is Peter tells him, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. But then in another verse, what begins to happen is that Pete, he begins to tell the disciples, I'm getting ready to die on the cross. I'm getting ready to go. And Peter stands up and says, no, 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 you're not dying. You can't die. We got your back. But what Jesus does is he looks at Peter and he says, Satan, the Lord rebukes you. Why? Because he understood that it was not Peter that was trying to get him to miss his assignment. It was a devil that was influencing Peter. Y'all don't want to have no church. Y'all don't want to talk to me. It's a devil. 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 It's a, yeah, it's a wicked one. Beelzebub. It's a snake in the grass that's trying to get you to stop believing. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's a devil. It's a devil. Watch this. The unjust judge is the puppet. Let's, ex let, let's expose the demons. Y'all ready to expose what demons we're dealing with? It's the unjust judge is the puppet. But doubt and unbelief are the puppeteers. Uh, to every carnal thing working in your life, there is a demonic puppeteer. There is something that's holding the reins. Um, this is good tonight. I may buy this message myself. There's something holding the reins. There, there's something holding, something holding against you. Come on, Regeneration Church. I don't come in this room and see four people and get discouraged. That's carnality. I see this room too packed for us. The whole service is here. Y'all ain't with me tonight. I know we only three months old come next month. I know we don't been churching long, but I don't see no three month old church. I see a men. I see men and women packed out outside the door. I see us having to host three and four services. I see us being able to hire our staff. I see us being able to take some of y'all off y'all jobs and give you 80, 90,000 a year to work for the church. Y'all don't want to have no church with me. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy, but we are in that day. What that church say? But we get ready to come back to life. I need somebody who believes God just to go praise him for what you see in the spirit. I see men like trees. I see families coming in. I see sicknesses being healed. I see deliverance. Watch it. Ah! what you see. This church has been called by God to cancel every spirit of religion. This church has been called by God to cancel every spirit of tradition. This church has been raised up in this city to challenge every demon and devil that has held Gary captive over the last 40 years. I know my assignment. Do you know why we're here? Let me tell you. We're not here to take sides. We're here to take over. I need a time. said I need a church to praise him for the future. Come on. Praise him for the future. Praise him for the future. Praise him for what you see. Praise him for what you see. I see the keys to our new property. I, I, I feel God. I see men and women coming into this church ready to work. Praise him for Gotta finish this. Be seated, please. Oh God. I just heard the Lord say, He says, tell the people tonight that every member and every person connected to this church is getting ready to be debt free. I said debt free. No debt. I prophesy. No debt. I declare. I, I declare that this time, the next time, you look at your credit report, things will start falling off. Student loans, old cars, all arrearages. I declare we're in that day. 
if you believe God, go to praise and go to praise and go to praise and go to praise him. Look at somebody say by August, there's a manifestation. There's a manifestation. I feel God. All right. Okay. Okay. I know the man for this all my life. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Taking over is in my spiritual blood. My spiritual father took over Chicago in five years. In five years, a church that started in the basement became a 7,000 member church. I'm not looking at what I see now. I know what God said. I don't know who I'm preaching to. I don't know who I'm talking to. But look at your neighbor say, it won't be long from now. 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 Whoa. All right, I gotta finish this. I promise we're gonna praise him. I gotta give you this. Give me a couple of more minutes. He had no, watch this, he did not fear God. And the Bible says neither did he regard man. He did not regard man. Neither did he regard man. So I, I need y'all to understand this. I need y'all to hear me. I need y'all to hear me. He did not regard man. He didn't regard man. Please fix it and bring it back. This devil is upset tonight. I feel you in this place, Holy Ghost. I sense what you're getting ready to do for the people that are in this room. I sense what's getting ready to happen. You told me that a move was going to happen tonight. You told me that those that came tonight were going to be in a supernatural realm. You told me that those that walked in the building tonight were not going to leave the way that theirs came. And I believe you like they believed you in the old days. That they didn't leave, they didn't leave until they seen what it was that you said. I need a church to pray. Hey. Almost there. Okay, okay, let me give you this. Uh, let's not let's not get lost in excitement. Let's not get lost in excitement. Let's not get lost in excitement. Let, let me give you this. Let me give you this. Here it is. It says, neither did he regard man. Watch this. When you regard something, this is what it means. It means that, this is what it means. It means that you respect it. It means that you respect it. When you regard something, it means that you respect it. Watch this. He did not respect the widow woman. He did not care that she was a widow. He was heartless. Can I help you? The Bible says this. <laughs> that the heart of the king. Y'all ain't got to go to church with me. I know what the Bible says. That the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And, and he turns it whichsoever way. But this is why you cannot look at people who you think control your purpose. Because while they think they control your purpose, God has their heart in his hand. Woo! You think you're trying to hurt me, baby. But you don't know the God I serve. He got the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Hey. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say on the one. I need the whole back. On the one. I have no reason to fear. Woo! Hey, hey. I have no reason to fear. The Lord is my life. Woo! Get your mics. I feel God. The Lord is my life. You gotta go. The Lord, the Lord is my life. Ah, I have no reason to fear. Ah, I have no reason to fear. 
says that she cried out day and night and day go back and night she cried out day and night don't stop praying may the fire on your altar never burn out may the fire on your altar never burn out may the fire of your altar don't let it burn out you've got to keep praying I know this is Thursday I know this is a Thursday night, but I've got to tell you, you've got to keep praying. Because what God does in this chapter, the judge says, I don't even like God, and I don't like people. But because this woman is annoying me, I'm going to go ahead and give her what she wants. Robert the Amplified Bible says, I better give her what she wants. Because if I don't give her what she wants, she's going to wear me out. What am I trying to tell you? On a Thursday night, you've got to wear it out. I know you've been praying. I know you've been believing. I know you've been sacrificing. I know you've been crying. I know this season has been tumultuous. I know this time has been messing up your faith. But wear it out. Pray until you see it. Pray until something happens. Pray until shift. I hear the Lord say that this church is in the midst of the greatest shift in its existence. I believe that within the next six months, our accounts are going to overflow. And if it happens for this house, everything, everything, everything connected to this church will experience this overflow. I need you to look at a neighbor and high five them and say, neighbor, what I just did, I just tagged you in. What does that mean in a wrestling match? When you take, come on, come on, Anthony. Come on, tag me in the ring while you're wrestling. When you tag somebody in, that means bring me in. He can bring me in the match. He can bring me in. I'm bringing you in to your greatest season. I'm bringing Wear it out, 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 wear wear it out, wear it out. I said wear it out. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing. Don't stop. Don't stop. Somebody. Oh, 
want to tell the Lord. Yeah. You've got to wear it out. I need a praise. You've got to continue. Un- see what God has said. I know you've been crying. I know there's been tears dropping down your eyelids. I know you don't know what tomorrow holds. I know that you don't know what the banker is getting ready to say. I, I, I know you've been in between if and when. I know that you prayed before and when you prayed what you believed God for did not happen. I know you lost a loved one. I know you've had pain. I know you've struggled. But the Bible says, the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night. Grab your name and say name. The weeping may be long. The weeping may be long. The weeping may be long. But he's giving me a promise. He's giving me a promise that in the morning, I don't care if y'all don't like me. Joy comes in the morning, late in the midnight hour. I said late in the midnight hour. I said late, late. It's going to happen in the middle of your sleep. It's going to happen while your eyes are closed. He's coming like a thief in the night and he's bringing you exactly what you've been waiting on. I need you to look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, we're in a place of faith. We're in a place of believing and we're not going to stop until we see what God has said. I need you to look at a neighbor and say, I'm still saying yes. So say it. So say it. So say it. Praise is what I do. We got to go. It's what I do. Listen. Yes, I'm crazy and I holler and I scream. That's how I believe God. Listen. Keep me in church because I feel a dance sweeping in this place. Hear me. I, I, they took my Bible and I told them to. So don't get mad at him. He's just obeying God's orders. But listen to me. The Bible says that he says, she won't the Lord hear his people crying unto him and he will avenge them speedily what happens if what I pray for does not happen what happens if I prayed all night I fasted I put my plate away I I asked God to do something for me and he didn't do what I wanted him to do he says See, won't I avenge my elect? She was standing in front of a judge, and the judge had given her a no upon arrival. But before she left the court, exactly what she needed the judge to do was done in her favor. The law may have said one thing, oh, 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 oh. but God. Turn that thing around for you. Tell somebody, say, wear it out. Say, wear it out. Wear it out. Wear it out. Wear it out. Come on, look at somebody, say, wear it out. When you wear something out, it means that you beat it down until it's unresponsive. How many people I got in here from the street 
when you got in the fight, you just stopped punching them until you saw blood. Wear it out. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all some scary folk. Huh? Y'all ain't from where I'm from. If it ain't no blood, you ain't hurt. No, 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 no. I got to wear you out. I got to. Okay. Where my, where my Chicago folk at? I got some Chicago people here. Where, where my Gary, Indiana? I know y'all from. G.I., 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 G.I. Come on, come on. Say, wear it out. There is a type of faith that is called bulldog faith. Somebody say bulldog faith. What does this mean, preacher? If you give a bulldog a toy, that bulldog will play with the toy. And when you pull from it, it'll let the toy go. Give the bulldog a rubber duck. It'll bite the rubber duck, but it will pull and it'll let the rubber duck go. But if you go get a T-bone steak, and you put that T-bone steak in that bulldog's mouth, one thing is gonna happen. I got dog lovers in here, so they'll tell you if I'm lying. One thing will happen with that bulldog is it's going to grab that steak and it's going to sink its teeth into that steak. And it is not going to let that steak go until that steak belongs to him. You've got to have the type of faith that when I grab this next season in my life, it's time to go. When I grab it, I'm not letting go. I need you to say this out of your belly. Say, if God said it, I believe it. That settles it. Amen. Go to praise and go to praise and go to. I won't let this thing go. I said, I won't let this thing go. I won't let this thing go. I'm, oh, I gotta go. Look at a neighbor. Go to Mahanda, la Mahandia. Look at a neighbor. We we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, so tonight I just saw this in the spirit. I need y'all to play like we at Mazusa Street. You hear me? I need y'all to have church. Don't play. No, I need you to rock that bass like we in Central Park. Walk me, walk me. I need we. I need us to have church. Y'all can do it slow. Y'all ain't gotta do it fast tonight. Y'all can do it at y'all speed. Hear me? This is what I need you to do. This next phrase, you're about to wear it out. You're about to wear it out. But this is what the Lord told me. He said, tell them that they have a Cinderella timing on this praise. I don't even know what that means. He said, tell me this praise is just like Cinderella. The clock is about to strike 12. And the horse and carriage is about to turn back into a pumpkin. The horse is about to turn back into mice. And your dress is about to change back to rags. You only got a few minutes to wear this thing out. Because by the time 9 o'clock comes, what you have praised for will be, I promise you, that what you've been praising for. Woman, I don't even know you. I don't even know, I don't even, I don't even know you. I can't see under the mask. But when you praise tonight, your whole family is about to be restored. God's bringing restoration to your family. God's bringing restoration to your life. And he's about to heal your body in this place. I need a church right now to wear it out, 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 wear it out. Y'all playing, y'all too cute. I need to see hair swinging. I need to see weeds flying. I said wear it out, wear it out, wear it out, wear it out. You're about 
to secure your whole future. Wear it out, Corey. Wear it out. Wear it out. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God, oh, God. If you believe that by August, I was in another church on Sunday. And the woman of God looked at me. And she said, Prophet, by August.
Boast in the Lord. The Bible says, My soul boasts for sin. What does this mean? This is the season. I'm about to give God his greatest compliment. Team of the Lord doesn't take away unless he adds more than what he took away. You hear what I'm saying? Watch what God does. <laughs> An even greater glory. An even greater miracle. An even greater glory. Watch what the Lord does. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's about to give it back. What you, what you have not been expecting. Something greater is coming from this season. I need us to pray. Hey! called me speaking in tongues he said pastor I just want to call you and tell you that I got a job offer and they hired me and I got more work coming in he didn't know where his next dime was going to come from but before August God did something for the man of God because he believed God Y'all are looking at a young man dance. I'm looking at a millionaire dance. Praise him, son. Wait a minute. Corey, I prophesy as you're praising. Every trial of shame and embarrassment against your name, against your family. God says as you praise, it's falling off. And you're getting ready to see a new day for your family. The curse is under your feet. I need y'all to help him break the curse. Help him. One, two. This is a crazy church. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Hey! 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 The curse. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. Let's go to Denver. Let's go to Denver. The gates of hell will not prevail. The gates of hell will not prevail. The gates of hell no devil not prevail. No witch shake. No devil, no incantation, no spirit prevail. Will not get hell. No will not prevail. No gate of hell. I wait. Not prevail. The gate of hell. Will not prevail. I wait. The gate of hell. The banner will not prevail. The free gate of hell. I will not prevail. The banner gate of hell. A regeneration. I prophesy to this church. I prophesy to this 
In place. The Lord says, this next praise, you're getting ready to pump a pulse into your purpose. Some of you all have given up on purpose. But the Lord says, as you praise tonight, your purpose is coming back to life. God says, this is a regeneration praise. That there's about to be a charge on a Thursday. You better shake this floor. Because not only are your, is your purpose coming back to life. But black men and black women all over this country. Schools and colleges are about to get funding. Off of y'all and mess. Y'all and y'all and y'all. Go, 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 go. Praise your purpose back to life. Praise, 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 praise. Praise, 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 praise. Praise him, son. Praise him. Praise him in the champion. Praise him, champion. That's what I'm going to call him. He's a champion. God's about to do a work for that boy. God's about to raise him up. I need y'all to praise. He's still gonna make it happen for hey, 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 
He's still gonna make it happen for you. children praise him. That's faith right there. They don't even need nothing but they praise him. I know y'all like It looks like. Ooh. Wallace, you better praise him, son. Because God is taking both your parents off of any medication. Anything that the doctor said. God says, I'm about to do it. tonight behind me the Lord said do what I told you to do and God told me to tell him that what's on me is on him hey Shanta. he ain't been under my leadership almost a year but he caught the mantle I don't know who I'm talking to and there are people watching and there are people in this room you waiting for me to get famous to catch my mantle but you better catch it right now Cause in a couple of more months, it's gonna be uncatchable. I don't know who I'm talking to. In a couple of months, you ain't gonna be able to catch it. Don't play me. I ain't no small preacher. And this ain't no small church. I don't know who I'm talking to. This ain't no small church, Ross. This a big church. This a mega church. We got thousands of members. I don't know who y'all playing with, but this is a big church. Just look at somebody say, catch it, 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 come in, Corey, come in, Corey, catch it, catch it, bring Corey here, catch it, catch it, come in, hey, come in, hey, lift your hands, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, hey, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, hey, catch it, catch it, it's all the men in this house. It's all the men. I'm still reminded. 
nation. I feel you in nation. I feel you in nation. If you want it, come catch it. If you want it, come get it. If you want it, come get it. I said, if you want it, come here, girl. Come here, wife. Lift up your hands. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. It's on you, Pastor. It's on you, Pastor. Pastor Alexandria. It's on you. Catch it. Catch it. I need a touch. I said, it's in here. The mantle is strong. I'm not waiting on 500 people. I'm not waiting on 100 people. It's in here. You gotta catch it. You got to catch it. I said you, I'm not playing myself short. I know what God called me to. I know what God called me to do. I know where I'm at in the Holy Ghost. You can play yourself, but you better not play God. Hey, I feel God in here. I feel God in here. Archbishop, it came up on me. You better pray to, pray to somebody else. I sense glory in this house. Every seat, every seat full. About this time next year, every seat. I said every seat, every seat, every seat has got to be. My God in heaven. Come on, praise us. It's on you. It's on you. Hey, hey, it's on you. Hey, it's on you. It's on you. It's on you, man. You submitted to this authority and this anointing. I know what's on it. Hey, 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 hey. It's on you. in this holy church. Worship him. Worship him. And you will never again doubt the anointing on your life. You will never again doubt what God has said to you. You will never again doubt what the Lord has prophesied. Even before your father met your mother, the anointing on your life was heavy. The anointing on your life was special. This is a transgenerational anointing. It missed your grandmother. It missed your, take me prophetic. It missed your grandmother. It missed your mother. But it will not miss you. And it's going to hit your mother because it's hit you. It's a, you got it because you lay next to it every night. It's an anointing. Hey, you heard what I said. It's on you. A greater grace. I need y'all to go up to worship. A greater grace. A greater level. A greater level. A greater level. A greater depth of the scripture. Give me my Bible. I need my Bible out my bag. I don't know where my bag is. A greater level. A greater anointing. A greater anointing. A greater anointing. A greater anointing. Rianda la 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 ho si ataga Rianda la 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 he si ki anda la ma haga Rianda la 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 haga Oh he shata A greater depth A greater anointing I press on you The weight of ministry The weight of women The weight is on you The weight is on you That's why you've been under this Place of pressure You were pregnant in the natural And you were pregnant in the spirit there's a grace on you, Alexandria Simone War. There's a grace on you, and it's coming alive. A greater grace, a greater grace. I need you to praise him, church. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. I said there's a grace. 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 Yeah. Minister, minister. Just tempo. No tempo, just minister. There's a grace. I said there's a grace. 
There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. A new grace upon this house. I said a new grace. You thought we were sent for one thing, but there's a greater anointing. I've anointed this church. I've anointed regeneration. I've anointed this place. I've anointed it to resurrect families. I've anointed it to resurrect destinies. I've anointed it to resurrect dreams. You were running into another grace. Tila, I seen your brothers in here, both of them. Jerry and Joshua, I seen them sitting next to you. I seen God bringing them back into the house of God. By your faith, they're coming back to the house of God. Watch what God does. I seen them following you in this room. I seen it. I saw it in the Holy Ghost. Hey! Glory. I need a room to praise Him because God is reclaiming the men. It's a greater grace. If you can stand, we're getting ready to go. I know it's 9.30. The Lord has hit this place. I need everyone who will to get a seat as close as you can to $100. And I need you to soak a $100 seat for the grace. I need you to name this the grace. I need you to name this the grace seat. If you're looking for a church home, come. Come now. Leave your seat. Come. You need a pastor. Leave your seat. Come. Come on. Many of you are deciding. Don't wait. There we go. There we go. Come on. Clap your hands. One is coming. One is I need a hugger and I need somebody to welcome her. Come on. Her son is coming. Y'all can come with me. Come on. Come on, babies. What's your name? Carolyn Evanson. Anderson. Can we give God praise for Carolyn Anderson for coming? Come on, give her a hug. Come on, welcome her to Regeneration Church. I need y'all to welcome her, Regeneration. Come on. Come on up. Come on, wife. Minister to Carolyn. Come on, let the woman of God through. She gonna minister to you. Yeah. Hey. And we reverence you. Give glory to your name. I, we reverence you. We reverence you. Glory to Give glory to your name. Your name. And we reverence you. We reverence you. Give glory to. Give glory to. We honor you. We honor you. Give glory to. Give glory to. We reverence you. We reverence you. We Oh, 
worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Worship, 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 worship. 
feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, that's what we need. We need an uncle. We need an uncle. We need an uncle. We need an uncle. We need the uncle. We need an uncle. This is what Gary needs. It needs a real outpour. Nothing that's ever been seen. Pour it out. 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 That's what we need. 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 Shayla Ellison. God is pouring it out on you. Christopher Ellison. God is pouring it out on you. Loretta Bradley. God, Loretta Bradley. God is pouring it out on you. He's pouring it out. He's pouring it out. On the viewers watching me. On Facebook Live. There's an outpour. You fall the apple. You worship, you fall the apple. We 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 worship you for the apples. We worship you for the apples. We worship you for the apples. Say we worship you for the apples. We worship you for the apples. Say we worship you for the apples. We we worship you for. Say we worship you for the apple. We worship you for the apple. We worship you for. We worship you for the apple. Say we worship you for the apple. We worship you for the apple. If you have your seed in your hand, get your seed. Whether it's on your phone. Wherever your seed is, this is the season of outpour. Your 
For I, the Lord, say unto my people tonight, this seed is the seed of outpour. There has been an ancient well that has been opened in this season now. In this service, there has been an ancient well of miracles, signs, and wonders. For this church will be known for miracles. This church will be known for signs. This place shall be known for wonders. And do not look at this place in its infancy stage and think this is it. No, for I, the Lord, have placed my finger upon this place. I've placed my finger upon this place and I have carved out it with my hand in the time zone, in the timing of God. I've carved the name of this church out and this church shall last for 40 times, 40 times, 40 generations. And there will be generations that will feed from this place and there will be generations that will come to this place that will sustain this vision past the founder of this place for I have carved this place out in time and as you have obeyed me tonight see won't I do exactly what I said I would do see won't I break your families free see won't I swing jail doors open see won't I bring your husbands out of hiding I'll bring your wives out of their caves and I will bless them and I will put my hand upon this place and I will allow there to be an influx of wealth to come to this place and I will allow you to never go empty you shall not go empty after you have tapped and sowed into this glory the emptiness is over sow your seed come on bring your seed bring your seed bring your seed If you had a phone, touch it with your phone. Touch the basket with your phone. Hey! Young lady, I don't know you. Do I know you? Have we ever met? Lift your hands. Lift your hands. If grace says unto you tonight that this is your season for breakthrough and healing, this is your season for emotional restoration. For I see where the enemy has tried to out emotionally. See where the enemy has tried to bog you down and try to press you down. But you will not be stopped in this next season. For as I look at your shirt, I'm seeing women behind you. And I see you leading them out of prisons. Because there's a prophetic anointing on your life to lead women out. You're called as a leader. And the enemy has tried his best to muzzle you and to stop you. But I command tonight, come close to me, lift your hands. I command that depression cannot have you. I declare that worry cannot have you and I declare that you're in your and the Lord said I've spared your life for such a time as this I've kept you alive in the earth for such a time as this but there is something that I shall do through you that you've never seen before and I will begin to allow you allow you to see my glory in spaces that you've never seen my glory before you've been yearning for this you've been believing for this yes yes this doesn't even match your denomination background but the Lord says watch what I do watch what I use you watch what I use you in your family line I'll use you as a marking and as a sign of what I do through women who obey my voice and so your life is not over it's just beginning I declare open doors to you I declare open financial doors I declare that employment will not be a problem I declare that open hey, 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 will not be a problem your story will change change lives yes it will and I declare the peace of God come to your mind the battle in your mind is over
over the battle in your mind for your sanity, for your per- hey! It's over. Hey, Shataha. You will complete the vision. You will complete the vision. You will complete the vision. You will put your hand in her back. You will complete the push her for her. There's a pushing. There's a pushing. I feel God on this holy place. There's a pushing coming to you. Yes, there's a pushing coming to you. May you come back to life. 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 I need a church to lift up your voice for this woman. I don't know her. As we leave this place, but that in your presence, we ask that you cover us in Jesus' name. Bring me the ice cream. Thank you. Bless this offering in Jesus' name.